Hey YouTube, today we're gonna do a tutorial on a cute little robot uh, that I saw someone else make, uh, but the tutorial was in Spanish. So I thought, oh shit, you guys can't understand Spanish and bull. So I, uh, I'm gonna recreate that robot uh, and I'm gonna make it differently. I don't wanna do the exact thing he did. Some differences. The whole body still looks pretty much the same, but I, I materialize it differently. There are some advancements that I make basically just a little bit. So let's first get started you're gonna need uh, basically a cylinder. Just, wow, that's totally a cylinder. Um, yeah, cylinder, here we go. So, here we go. Am I lagging? Wow, I'm lagging actually a little bit. Dang. Uh, we're gonna try to keep the count on the polygon low because I'm lagging because of the recorder. And <clears throat> yeah, this tutorials kind of get boring to make because I usually make longer tutorials and uh, if I don't listen to music, it kind of gets boring. So we're gonna we have this upper body basically. This is gonna be his head and basically the upper body. We go to um, polygon mode or whatever you, it, it's called here. It is called polygon mode, I think. So, and we need to optimize it. If you don't know how to optimize, I have the shortcuts right here for everything I use. But optimizes and functions and optimize. Got it. And let's see if it's actually opti. God dang it! All right, optimized. If it's optimized, the thing won't come off not coming off so that's good um, <clears throat> we're gonna go to edge mode or line mode and press U press L you get the loop selection tool select this and we're gonna zoom in right click bevel and boom we are gonna bevel it not that much okay now this looks horrible actually it kinda looks interesting but that's not what we're after we're after more of a <coughs> rounded look we're gonna make it convex or concave I think nope it's convex sorry and that's that's our head um, like I said it's not gonna be an actual technical robot it's gonna be just a cute little thing um, so that's our head Mm, and we're gonna duplicate it, put it down, and that's gonna be our body, but not exactly. We're gonna <coughs> give the scale tool, scale it down, and then scale the whole thing up. Just drag it out just a bit. Now we'll look at it from the top. And let's just go to the top view. There we go. Top. We don't want it to be that big, just a bit big. And you know you don't have to follow exactly how I do this because um, this is not supposed to be something you exactly copy. As you can see, it's not an actual freaking robot. It's just a cute thing. Um, so we pull this up, and right now I'm thinking the head's kind of too big. So we're gonna go to the line tool. I mean, at polygon selection mode get the polygons boom and bring it down just a bit okay that's looking pretty good all right um still looks nothing like a robot trust me it's not supposed to now <coughs> um i'm doing this based on another tutorial uh like i said i don't want to take any credit from for this um but i have made some changes so we're gonna get a cone and put it up. Whoa, that that's that does not look anything cool. What the hell did I just do? Okay. And we're gonna drag it in. And we're gonna get a sphere.
and that's our little antenna thing okay that's where it was in the other tutorial <laughs> um so let's stay on topic now we're gonna create the eyes um, let's get cylinder make it I think X or Y whatever you want you know what I really don't care let's just make it X God dang it wow there you go Okay. We are going to pull it up and uh, make this eye thing. Don't worry about where you put it. Oh yeah, one more thing. If you, if you, if you, hold on. Let's get this correctly. Oh yeah, uh, for this tutorial, it's important that you model on the axis or the center point or the origin. Basically, what I'm doing. Uh, make sure it's like on the center of this thing. Basically, don't move stuff around and stuff. You know. in until we think it's appropriate. Um, no. Not quite feeling you right there. Okay, I think um, that looks alright. Duplicate it and uh, this is the x-axis so we're gonna get rid of this negative or if there isn't a negative we're gonna put a negative but uh, there's there is a negative so you're gonna get rid of it so that it goes to the opposite side so that it looks like this see now I see a problem right there it's too close so we're gonna select them both I think oh no man you know what uh, get rid of the duplicate one this one edit it and put it farther down I think we did some okay and duplicate it again and get rid of the negative and there we have it our cute eyes whatever so um yeah now that's not a robot at all but what do you know we're gonna take two spheres this is for our arm things and put it up more like shoulders and as you can see that's where they all go so we're gonna duplicate it again and on the x-axis get rid of the negative if there is a negative just put if there is not a negative just put a negative and it will happen okay so boom um, the robot I saw on YouTube, it also had cone for hands. Like I said, I'm not taking any credit whatsoever for the robot. Well, this looks a little bit different the w from the one that I uh, first did, but eh, works. So we're gonna duplicate the cone also and get rid of the negative. 
Now as you can see it's rotated different so we're just gonna put a negative on the rotation. Boom. Um, this is the robot from YouTube basically this is the robot but I like I said I made some changes to the model right so here it goes to changes I'm gonna select <coughs> the cylinders basically the eyes um, make them both editable go to line mode and uh, click optimize you know how to optimize now <coughs> click on get the selection tool. God, is there a shortcut for that? Because I really need to use the shortcut. Let's see if it's optimized. Yep, it's optimized. Control Z. Okay, uh, okay hold on. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Now we're gonna <coughs> extrude inner. Extrude inner, yep. And do it however much you want. And then just extrude normal and do it inside. And that will be our eyes, but that's not it. We're gonna go to the line mode, I mean vertex mode. Select the center things and drag them out just a tad bit. That is, I believe that will do. That was one of my <coughs> adjustments that I made. Boom, boom, boom. And what was another one? The, the, this is gonna look completely different after I'm done with it, trust me. Not that different, I mean the body's gonna be the same, but when we materialize it, you'll be surprised how it looks. Um, come on, come on. The whole upper body needs to go right now. Where's, yeah, this is the one. Okay. Select this. How do you solo something? <sighs> Alright, um, we're gonna go to our uh, polygon mode and select all of this. We're gonna right click and extrude enter. Basic extrude it in and click extrude and extrude it out just a tad bit. Okay. Now one thing I should teach you guys right now for all the newbies, um no no offense. Press UL well, uh nothing has a complete sharp edge. So every time you see every time you're trying to model something, what you should do is uh put a bevel on things looks gives much better looking uh, reflections on the bubbles um, yeah well uh, press ul for loop selection select this edge S uh, hold shift select this edge uh, right click bevel and do it linear and what do you know oopsies Turn down the subdivision to zero. Okay, that will do. And uh, go to the font tag and put it to 22. Boom. And we have our sort of bevel edges. Uh, we should have turned up the segments on the rotation thing on the cylinder before, even before but eh, it's no big deal. Now, like I said, there will be many changes this model um, go to press uh, K and that will bring up our knife tool set it to loop and you're gonna make a loop cut right about right about here and right here and and you're gonna extrude this UL uh, and kaboom extrude Line mode. Bevel. Uh, 
Okay, <clears throat> we're almost done, right? Kind of. Not really. So we're gonna turn everything back on. Just, just. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some gears around uh, the eyes. So we're just gonna get the go go down here and you see the cog. And where are the eyes? 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 Okay. We're gonna <clears throat> get the position of the x-axis. Actually, yeah, the x-axis first. Copy and put it on the cog. X and the y-axis on the cog. I mean the thing. Copy. Paste. Okay. Now the z-axis doesn't matter because we're gonna move it anyway. Um, so we're gonna change the inner radius. Okay, so as you can see what's going on here, right? Um, do, 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 do. Let me put the inner radius up. So 16, 16, middle radius, 17. And that will do the trick. Duplicate the cog and put a minus on the X. Boom, we have two cogs. Whoa, 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 that doesn't look nothing like something that would render and look good. Um, sorry about that. Get another shoe and put a minus on the get rid of the minus on the X. Okay, now we're gonna control uh, the thickness basically, and that would be our eyes and we're gonna go to the fong tag again and put it to 22 boom we have our cool little gear looking eyes and basically we're gonna go kind of crazy with this gear thing because we're gonna put another gear and that's gonna be our final gear and after that we're gonna start um after that we're gonna start texturing but I guess I should uh, save this part because uh, I'm going over like 18 minutes so I'm gonna um, pause and save the part <laughs>